afternoon, we're going to start with the weather because we are experiencing some serious rain and wind throughout the state. Let's get to meteorologist Tim Williams, who is tracking live Doppler radar. It's coming down really hard outside. It really is. You can hear it in here as well. You know, we have enough rain and wind to trigger alerts for both conditions. And right now, live Doppler radar is showing some bright conditions. Some of these things, uh, or some of these areas you're seeing are starting to really light up. These uh, little sections here you see that are lighting up are rain advisories, rain warnings, flood warnings all across the region. This is a system that's very slowly making its way across the area. So we have a flood watch in effect for the entire state until 10 p.m. tonight. And as we get over to the eastern shore, we're starting to see wind advisories. And this is a wind advisory for the western shores of the bay until 2 p.m. And then on the eastern shore, of the bay from uh, Cecil County all the way down to Ocean City until 8 p.m. because it's going to take that long for this system to move on through. So what you can expect this Thursday, cloudy and windy conditions out there. Rain is going to be heavy there. It will be potential for a thunderstorm at times. Everyone won't see them, but the possible flooding is already happening out there because this rain is taking so long to move on through. We'll have your complete WJZ forecast coming up in just a few moments. Lynn. Tim, right now there are nearly 6,000 customers without power across the state, and here are some of the hardest hit counties. In Anne Arundel County, just over 1,700 are without power. In Baltimore County, just over 1,500. That's followed by Harford County with more than 1,400, and Carroll County with almost 800. Stay with WJZ anytime severe weather hits. We'll have everything you need to know with the largest weather team in town. And if you have any pictures of flooding in your area today, you can share them on social media with the hashtag be on WJZ.